Cossacks 3 is finally here, and boy what a nice little RTS we have here. For only 20 euros you get a modern day remake of the original Cossacks game with HD resolution and 3D models. And I say remake because that is what it mostly is. The title of Cossacks 3 can be a bit misleading if one was hoping for overall changes to the game compared to Cossacks 1 and 2, but it is what fans of the game have been asking for a return to its roots after the global changes of Cossacks 2. So basically, it's Cossacks 1 HD edition, but that is not a bad thing. I really love the first Cossacks game, but the graphics are heavily outdated. With this edition of the game, we get to enjoy classic Cossacks gameplay with updated visuals. For anybody who doesn't know about the Cossacks series, and understandably so, as it isn't that big in the West, it is a classic style RTS in the vein of Age of Empires or Empire Earth. We build a city, make peasants to gather resources and use those resources to build military units. What sets Cossacks apart from other classic RTSs though is that it has some realistic mechanics in place. For example, food is drained progressively the more population you have and if you run out of it your people die in starvation. Also every shot from your musketman drain your coal and iron resources, symbolizing ammunition, and they won't be able to fire if you deplete your reserves. Military units can also capture unguarded buildings, and you cannot attack enemy buildings unless you have artillery or fire arrows to burn them down. But the biggest mechanical change is that you can form regiments. While in other games you can make squads of units and have them move in formation, in Cossacks you can literally train an officer and drama unit which can then form a regiment with other military units, priding them with additional attack and defense values. They also move as one whole unit like you would in a total war game. This regiment system also lends itself to favor big armies. The unit limit on a map is 8000, which is pretty impressive, and in the late game you can witness incredible battles spanning a big chunk of the map. Unit variety is also spot on. We have military units from the 17th to 18th century in the game from all major European powers. Polish winged hussars, Ukrainian Sergiuks, Russian Cossacks, Spanish musketmen, French chasseurs and English dragoons, aside from all the common units such as field cannons, cuirassiers and pikemen. We also have naval battles with pretty impressive ship models. The game also includes five single player campaigns which are very entertaining and quite hard with the promise of more coming in DLC as well as new nations and units. The icing on the cake is that it includes online multiplayer servers and a full-blown map editor where you can even make your own mods for the game. Overall, if you love classic RTS, Cossacks 3 is a fine addition to your collection. There are some bugs here and there, but already in these three days that the game has been released, many of them have been patched. Cossacks 3 is a great remake of a great RTS classic and for its 20 euros it's a solid purchase. If you are not sure that you will like the game you can always buy the first Cossacks off Steam for 4 99 before investing in this one. My final remark is buy it.